Foam sclerotherapy is a very common therapy that we perform in our office on a daily basis for varicose veins and reticular veins. In terms of treatment of surface varicose veins and surface reticular veins, one of the most traditional common therapies for these sort of cosmetic treatments, as well as a common form of varicose vein medical treatment in the past, has been ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy. Ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy is a term that is describing the use of medications injected into a vein under ultrasound guidance to cause the veins to close. One of the reasons that sclerotherapy is so popular is because it's very cost-effective, meaning you could treat a lot of veins with a relatively low cost. The medications that we use for sclerotherapy have come down in price significantly over the years. Um, you can treat both legs or multiple locations on both the legs at the same time rather than having to return you know, for multiple treatments on the same leg to get the end result you're looking for, which may be the case for other treatments. So uh, sclerotherapy is, is a very popular treatment even in our practice these days, and the reason is patients are looking for a, an effective, low-cost treatment that's going to make their legs have an improved appearance, and sclerotherapy tends to do that. They're also looking for a treatment that has low risk and low discomfort associated with it. Once again, sclerotherapy is one of those treatments. The costs are fairly affordable relative to other vein treatments. It's very effective for getting rid of surface veins that are smaller and not associated with more severe underlying vascular conditions. The way that the treatment is performed is that we sterilize the skin with alcohol then we use very small microneedles that we insert under magnification to get the vein precisely into the lumen or inside lining of the vein in order to deliver the drug very precisely into the defective veins without causing any damage to anything adjacent to the veins. We then slowly inject the medication, which does have a numbing property to it, into the veins themselves, and we watch the medication go in under ultrasound guidance so that we can focally administer the chemical just to the abnormal vein and no other healthy veins next, next to it. Once the medication is visualized that it's filled the entire cluster that we're uh, treating, then what we do is we slowly withdraw the needle, hold pressure at the site with some cotton, and, cotton ball and tape, and then we move to the next area and do the same process. So it's a series of micro injections. It's very well tolerated by patients because the foam medication that we use has a numbing property to it rather than a discomfort property to it. So people tend to feel that the treatment is very, very little discomfort, and they really tend to be surprised and have little discomfort afterwards. After the treatment, essentially, you do have to wear compression stockings on your legs for one to two weeks, depending on the size of your veins, and then we reassess the response rate uh, at that time when you come back, and sometimes additional therapies are needed, so it's a lot of times something that we have to reassess for potentially additional therapy, but not everyone needs more than one treatment. Since sclerotherapy has been around for a long, long time, many, many decades, it actually started being utilized in the 1920s. It's a procedure that many physicians, including myself, have done, have done many thousands of treatments on. So in my experience over the last 15 years is I've done several thousand sclerotherapy injections. Uh, it, it's so common that we have an extremely high level of satisfaction, an extremely high effectiveness rate because we've been doing it for so long that we've gotten very effective at utilizing the right drugs at the right concentrations in the right locations and getting the end results that we're looking for. Because it's been around for so many years, it's a very proven therapy that is considered extremely safe. And we've done so many thousands of treatments is that we have a very high confidence level in the outcomes of what we're gonna see.